Speaking of using our gas, I have been using uh, iOS 16, uh, the betas, on my phone. And the other day, I was heading somewhere and asked it to uh, get directions to somewhere in the middle. And it said, oh, yeah, do you want me to add a stop? And this is new. You could not previously do this with Apple Maps. And not only could you not do it with Apple Maps, you certainly couldn't do it with CarPlay and Siri. And it added the stop just fine. It worked great. So like you don't have to use Google Maps anymore if you want to do the multi-stop trips with with like on the fly and all of that. The other thing I did, and I swear I've done, I've tried this in the past with, with utter failure. We were uh, coming home from somewhere and quite frankly, we needed to find a place to pee. And I said, because... For the first time in my life last Saturday, I played a gig where the there were no restrooms available at the venue. I won't get into the details, but yeah, yeah. Wow. I, like there's a first time for everything. I've been playing gigs for 35 years or something. Never had that happen before. So, and we had like an hour and 15 ride home. So I was like, yeah, we're going to have to like, this is going to be uncomfortable if we don't <laughs> stop to pee. So, so, you know, and, and there was supposed to be some like, Dunkin Donuts that wasn't open by the time we left. So I was like, well, let's find a McDonald's. Okay, great. And so I, I asked Siri, I said, find me McDonald's along our route. And she did and listed not only all of them and showed them on a map, but indicated the amount of time it, it would add to our journey, essentially what the detour would cost us to go to each of these places. And it was like, okay, well, this one's, it, you know, the, the closest one to you at the moment, but it's going to take you, it's going to add 10 minutes to your journey. But if you go to the one that's, you know, 20 minutes away, that's only going to add three minutes to your journey or whatever. And it's like, wow. Then of course it turned out that the McDonald's we went to, the lobby was closed because there was some sort of fire. It, it added far more time to our journey. Oh, it boy. wasn't, that wasn't Siri's fault, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. But it was, it's re like the, the, the improvements, the incremental improvements to maps in iOS 16 are stellar. So uh, be on the lookout for that when, whenever you add iOS 16. If you're one of the beta people, great. If you're not, you know, it's coming. So, yeah. It's come stuff. a long way from the days where the icon drove you off a bridge. Yeah. Well, it's come right. a long way. I, I, I had given up on Apple Maps, as I think okay. many of us had. Like, pretty much people that didn't live in the San Francisco Bay Area found that Apple Maps was a disaster. And so we all used Waze or or, or Google Maps even, uh, but I think most of us just standardized on Waze. Uh, I certainly did. And then when I got my iPhone 12, I think I got a, a 12 Pro and then went to the 12 Mini, right? Because anyway, I'm stuck in the weeds here. I think they were they were released at different times. But anyway, whenever which, whichever 12 I got first, I decided I was going to do a just a start from scratch kind of thing. You know, I'm not going to reinstall my apps. I'm, I'm just going to start it fresh. It's been too long. And I decided I would only load the apps that I was going to use. I wasn't going to preemptively load anything on my phone. And that way I figured I would keep from, you know, crapping it up too quickly, uh, which might've worked or it probably failed. But uh, I realized after like six months, I'm like, you know what? I haven't put any other mapping app on i'm just using the built-in apple maps and that was you know a couple of years ago it's been fantastic I'm, I'm really impressed with how how well apple maps works 